Okay guys, uh, getting to the knife, like I said, we have a Spartan blade, it's called the Alala, it means battle cry, and uh, that's a good name for it, uh, Spartan Blades classifies this as, a, as a, uh, a bushcraft knife, I don't quite see it like that, um, seems more like a like a military type knife something that uh maybe a a ranger or a, a cab scout or something like that would carry um it came with a strap it came with two straps the other strap i had over here and i tried it there was too much wobble uh, to carry it on the small of my back so i put a tech lock on it now it rides nice and high right here real close to the body real thin profile um, my carta scales excellent grip definitely a military knife in my opinion um, very very cool sheath um, that little button there that pops it out here's the size of the blade in your hand kind of on the small side but it's on the thick side um, I'm gonna be using this as a, uh, a shit hit the fan kind of a blade I'm gonna put this in my I have a special pack made up for that that's where this is going not something I'm gonna carry in the forest I got other knives for that but uh, we're gonna put it through some paces here today just a little bit uh, I got a some ribs I'm gonna do up in the smoker and uh, we're gonna use this to cut it up <clears throat> really really nice knife it's got a thumb ramp I like that 1095 Crovan steel from uh, K bar they make it for Spartan blades you see it right there um, that nut this sheet is so cool listen snaps in lock up solid no rattle no nothing um, very good retention point there all you do is you push that and it flops right out and uh, here's an impressive part of this knife a it it's a jump ready knife that's why I mentioned the Rangers um, I don't like that scout carry strap it, it like I said it flopped around but um, if you push this up That's another point of retention. You could push this button and it still won't come out. It released, but the knife won't dislodge. It's uh, what they call jump ready. You could put this on your side, jump out of an airplane, hit the ground, roll. You're not gonna lose it. Um, I don't plan on jumping out of any airplanes, but uh, it would be nice if you were in a river, crossing a river, crossing a stream you ain't gonna lose it um, definitely military style knife more so than uh, bushcraft I think they labeled it bushcraft as a marketing strategy but they could have appealed to the military crowd too that's where I think this comes in um, the, fa the the guys that own Spartan blades are military guys uh, now when you want to release it you can't be fooling with this because it's hard to get off you just pop that loose put it down with your finger like that and it comes right out excellent all right let's give her a test here okay guys we got some ribs to cut up here we got some wood here we're gonna bust up for the smoker uh, there we go with the Spartan blade I'm gonna give her a try that's what it looks like in a little better lighting definitely a military knife you could get these scales wet man and I'm telling you you ain't gonna lose grip on it uh, so let's see how that does in a meat test very thick blade Gonna make short work of this. Yep, 
it's not a big time slicer because of that thickness but it's doing it it's doing a nice job on it very very nice I'm glad that I raised that that bevel up a little bit. That's a nice piece there. Two, four, six, seven. See if we can go through bone. If the blade takes any damage. Very, very nice. No damage on the blade, Carl. Excellent. Excellent. I think both of these guys are named Carl. I'm not positive on Catfish's real name. I think it's Carl. I'm not positive, but I think it is. I should know after all these years, but... Uh, holding an edge real nice. We didn't really, you know, bust it up bad. Uh, we got some Dirty Bird seasoning. Um, we're going to hit this real nice here and rub it in get a dry rub going now see what kind of juices I got I know I got some vinegar to mop on it as we're smoking we'll let these set a little bit let me get some uh, one of the racks and some tin foil Dirty Bird seasoning is really, really nice, guys. Yeah, this is quite a strange knife review, huh? I am going to baton some wood for the smoker. It's hard getting out right now. A lot of snow. A lot of water level, high waters along the river. But, uh, yeah, we'll throw a little garlic powder on it. That's always nice. Hit it with some black pepper. All right, let me get it on the on the racks and we'll come back here all right guys our ribs have been marinating there for a little bit and uh, got a can of corn here for the chickens we're gonna crack that open with the knife since uh, we're talking about a shit hit the fan knife uh, you might have to open up a can or open up something with your knife <clears throat> and this blade can handle it. I'm positive of it. Look at the thickness of that blade stock. And one other thing I forgot to mention. I put a 90 on it. Well, it's not the greatest 90. I'm going to touch it up. Uh, I got a little bit of marker on there to cover it. But uh, I did 90 degree that a little bit. That's the only thing I did to it besides the tech lock. Uh, we're going to chop up this for the smoker. Uh, with the knife and we'll see how that goes see how it handles that all right guys let's see how the, the la la handles this uh, see how she does no problem at all 
No problem. I know they're only little pieces, but this is a little knife. Oh, it's going through it like butter. It's an odd shape there. Let's see just for kicks if it can take that one down. This is seasoned two years. It's hard wood. It's uh, apple. And there's a little bit of cherry mixed in too. Beautiful. Okay, that's excellent. Nice shavings. Oh yeah. Peeling off of here like butter. A little wet. There's some dry stuff towards the center though. Oh yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get a bunch of these shavings up. And uh, see if this thing will hit a fire steel. I'm not sure. I didn't try it, but uh, we'll give that a shot next. That cherry is hard. That's been that's been sitting for years. A project that I never got to. Yeah, this thing's making up some nice shavings, guys. Really doing a nice job on it. You can see the little shavings there. Beautiful. And this is, like I said, I mean, this is apple and cherry that have been hardening up for years. A couple of years. Maybe even three. Not sure. But, uh, making real short work of that. And like I said, it's thick. It's a thick blade. But it can do the job. It can do some outside bushcrafting tasks. Now, let me grab something real quick here to show you. <clears throat> okay, uh, Carl from Targets with Attitude. That's where I won the contest from. That's his YouTube channel. Is uh, Targets with Attitude. And uh, he does have a knife shop. Nice selection of knives and uh, great prices. This here is the fix and wax I sent you. You can use this stuff for multiple things. Everything from uh, chapstick to treating your blades to putting a little bit on a cotton ball for a fire. That, that'll take real nice. Get us some fluff going there. Put another one in. Burns nice too. It's got beeswax and uh, there's beeswax and um, coconut oil. And I always put some. Uh, I always put a little bit of lemon oil or whatever I decide to use. So. There's the how we're gonna strike with the well I don't know if this is gonna work or not because uh, I honestly didn't test it but let's see if she'll throw a spark oh yeah definitely threw a spark oh look at that knife threw a spark real nice and uh, that's what we're going to use to smoke these here ribs. Nice, real nice. Great fire steel. Willis, great fire steel, man. Great fire steel. Knife is doing fantastic. And guess what? 
it's as sharp as when I started. So it did great. I'm gonna fire up the smoker and get these ribs going, and then we'll open up the corn for the chickens. All right, guys, one last test for the Alala from Spartan Blades. Let's see what she can do here for the chickens. Like I said, I'm not being a jerk trying to abuse the knife, uh, but this is what it's I'm using it for is the uh, the shit hit the fan scenario, and this is something you might have to do. Let's see if she'll do it. Not even a struggle there. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what it did to the blade, but She got the can open. It did do that. There ain't even a chip in that knife. Look at that. Not even a chip. Nothing. And still very sharp. Uh, K-Bar Steel, I knew this wouldn't be a disappointment, and uh, it wasn't. So now it goes in the pack for that scenario I was telling you about, but what a good blade. And uh, Carl from Targets with Attitude, here's what I was telling you. For the 1095 steel, high carbon steel, it's going to rust. This here fix and wax is real nice stuff. And it's got beeswax in it. So it's a little bit clumpy, but you put your the temperature of your body on it. I've been using this stuff for years. And your knife will not rust with this. I wish I had my other Mora down here to show you. Uh, you can use it to fill nooks and crannies too. See how it filled that? Filled that in? Your moisture and your water won't penetrate down in there. I got that on one of my classic Moras. But uh, that fixing wax is good stuff. I hope you guys get some use out of it. But uh, there she is. Real nice. Beautiful knife. I highly recommend it. Uh, no damage at all on that blade. So thanks again, uh, Catfish Redneck and Carl from Targets with Attitude. Check out his store. Check out his channel. Same thing with Catfish and... Uh, Good guys, real good guys, man. Uh, and Willis, thanks for the fire steel, man. That thing threw sparks. <laughs> I never had a square one, man. And this thing, look at that. that. Thing really throws the sparks, man. Thanks a lot, buddy. Take care, everybody.